How's it going guys and welcome back to the lair and today we're going to be doing some standard best of one um, I call this one magmatic death, but before we get into it uh, I just want to say if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe It's free to you and helps us out so much Also feel free to drop me a comment talk about strategy deck ideas misplays I read the comments daily and if you have any friends or family that are into magic, please share the channel with them uh, One last thing I'd like to say for all of my new followers or subscribers on either twitch or YouTube uh, once you do so, just uh, reach out to me in the chat or the comment, and I can respond back to you with an in-game code that you can use in Arena to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. Uh, just make sure to reach out to me and tell me, hey, I just subscribed or followed or whatever. Uh, but yeah, excited to be able to offer that. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so this is a Grixie's uh, color, color scheme here, and we are going to be using Lurus of the Dream Den as our companion. Uh, this is kind of a similar build to uh, a deck I played a couple episodes ago. It was a historic build, uh, very similar, using Luris and, and some other shenanigans, but this is the standard version of it. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's see how we do. So of course we start off, we have Luris of the Dream Den is our companion. He's a 3-2 with lifelink, and his companion uh, requirement says each permanent card in your starting deck has converted mana cost of two or less. And during each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with converted mana cost, two or less, from your graveyard. On to the one drops, we have the full playset of Blood Chief's Thirst. At sorcery speed, destroy target creature or planeswalker with converted mana cost, two or less. And if the spell was kicked, instead just destroy that creature or planeswalker. Three copies of Village Rites at instant speed. And as additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature, we draw two cards. We have uh, two copies of Shock at instant speed, deal two damage to any target. Onto the two drops, we have oops, excuse me, three copies of Negate at instant speed, counter target non-creature spell. Three copies of Seagate Stormcaller, uh, she's a 2-1, and uh, when she enters the battlefield, copy the next instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost two or less. You cast this turn when you cast it, and if she was kicked, we copy that spell twice instead, and we may choose new targets for those copies. We're running the full playset of Agonizing Remorse. At sorcery speed, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it or from their graveyard and exile that card, and we lose one life. Have the full playset of Skyclave Shade. It's a 3-1. Uh, it cannot block, and if it was kicked, it enters the battlefield with two 1-1 counters on it. It also has a landfall ability. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if Skyclave Shade is in your graveyard and it's your turn, you may cast it from your graveyard this turn. Three copies of Magmatic Chandler. Uh, she's a 1-3, and her static ability says as long as there are four or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, Magmatic Chandler gets plus three, plus one. And then we can tap her and discard a card, exile the top two cards of your library, then choose one of them. You may play that card this turn. We have the full playset of Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. This is a 6-6, six, six, and, and we sacrifice it unless it escaped. And when he enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card. Then each opponent who didn't discard a non-land card this way loses three life. And then later on, we can pay his escape and uh, exile five other cards from our graveyard and bring him back to the battlefield. But also, if we have a Lurus, we can just skip that escape cost and just keep replaying him once per turn. Uh, we have three copies of Maze Mine Tomb. It's an artifact. And when it comes into play, we can tap it and put a page counter on it and scry one. And then later on, if we have two available mana, we can tap it, put an additional page counter on it, and draw a card. And then finally, when there are four or more page counters on Maze Mine Tomb, exile it. If you do, you gain four life. On to the three drops, we have three copies of Mystical Dispute at instant speed. This spell costs two less to cast if it targets a blue spell. And then counter target spell unless its controller pays three. And then finally, one copy of Hagra Brew Pit or Hagra Mauling, depending on what our needs are. We could have it come into play tapped and then uh, it produces black mana for us, or we can cast it at instant speed. Uh, this spell costs one less to cast if an opponent controls no basic lands and then destroy target creature. Um, other than that, we have our mana base here. I have one or I'm sorry, one island, two castle lock twain, three swamps, two mountains. Four copies of either Merc Water Pathway or Clear Water Pathway. 
one lava glide pathway or river glide pathway, three temple of epiphany, two temple of malice, one crawling baron, and four fabled passage. Uh, so basically, this is a slightly more aggressive build than the uh, the other version of this deck, I believe, um, especially with Magmatic Chandler. Um, other than that, uh, we, we threw in some additional uh, counter spells, but everything else is pretty much the same. Um, the idea is we're going to want to get a Stormcaller out, and then we can drop one of these uh, instants or sorceries and at least get a double copy, but if we have the mana, we can get a triple copy, which starts getting ridiculous. And then, of course, Lurus helps us recur all of our threats. We have Mystical Dispute and Negate to protect our permanents. Um, but we are not really too concerned as long as they don't get exiled. Uh, yeah, so that's the deck. We have a 1.9 converted mana cost, running 14 creatures and 23 lands. So let's go ahead and hop into some games and see how we do. We'll just do regular play here. Alright, M4RO is our first opponent. So we've got a nice three lander here. We got a Seagate, we have a Maze Mine, we have a Kroxa. Um, I mean this looks great. We'll keep it. We'll go ahead and drop Castle Loctoin since we don't have a one drop. And that way we can go ahead and play our Lava Glide next turn. Ooh. Okay. Sit him with the Croxa. Shredded sails. Destroy target artifact creatures those with four damage target creature with flying. Well, it's a good thing we don't have any creatures with flying in this deck. Uh, okay, so what's the move here? I think what we'll do is we will Come on, don't quit. All right. Well, top into another one. RBMKP2400. So, we have three lander here, but no black source. But we do have a Seagate and we do have a Maze Mine. Do we keep this? I feel like we have. We have Scry. We, well, we'll keep this. Let's try this out. So, we'll play out our Temple. Looking for a black source, so we'll bottom that, unfortunately. So we just draw into another one. Okay, so let's go ahead and play out the maze of mine. Pass. Scry at the end of our opponent's turn. Opponent's scrying himself. Okay. P 
blue red okay blue red wizards Ooh, improbable alliance all right so let's scry looking for a black source i guess that will work um We don't need any more mountains. Mm -hmm. The wait to play our storm caller. We will pass. Go into full control here. Make them think we have something. Oh no. Could be in trouble here, folks. Let's just draw a card. Pretty cool combo with Teferi's Tutelage and Improbable Alliance. Nice, nice curve. Two into a three. Magmatic Chandler. Okay, so search, oops, search for a swamp here, and then we see gate. cast it on the regular. Yep, and then we will agonizing remorse times two, two for uh yeah get this and take this. Okay. Scry. Shock. Um, I guess that could be useful. So, can't do both. Hmm. What's the move here? Uh, I think we have to agonizing remorse again. We'll negate that. this and I think now we will just have to have this enter as a land looking for some action mm. lithoform engine it's pretty cool Do we now? Um, yeah, let's do this. So, if I play you, we will play it for to play storm caller regular and we will sacrifice. 
this creature. Okay. Um, what am I more interested in? because now it doesn't really matter. We just want to stop his board. This is a nice... This is nice. He can load up his entire deck with kill spells, removal spells. Lithoform engine helps him copy any... anything he wants. We're just looking for a Kroxa or a Magmatic. Um... Very well could be playing counter spells, I have no idea. We will have to find out. So he's going to let the form his Teferi. He's not. He's going to scry. Two at the top. That's always scary. Okay, so let's do this. This. Let's play this. For the regular. Shock you. Smack the face. Okay. I could get a Croxa. There he is. Opponent is not turbo milling us yet. Now he has to deal with the board. If he gets rid of Stormcaller, then we bring it back with Luris. Manny Cacophony. Hmm. Okay. I take back my previous words. That's a lot of damage. Or, I'm sorry, not a lot of damage. A lot of, uh... Okay. Magmatic. We'll leave open the negate. You gotta deal with my board, my man. Got him. I was gonna say I, I I believe that that would be one of the like the only things that this deck would have all problems with is uh, mill. Speaking of mill, we're going to be going to the dark side in our next episode. I have a uh, Demir. Not rogues, just just straight mill deck that I'm very excited to show you guys. So stay tuned for that next episode. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Red Rake. Hmm. With the Moon Yunling. So, we have a three lander, but no red source. Um, no creatures other than him. No scry. I think we'll mulligan. Seems much better. Um, red, black. Keep this. We will drop. I guess we drop the. 
temple. Okay, we will play the fabled passage first. On our opponent's turn, we'll search up a uh, swamp. I'm sorry. Yes, please. Now. White. I think, I think we're going to be aggressive here. Yep, mono white. Now we play our. He has to discard a card, tap season hollow blade, Dean's indestructible. Um. Mystical Dispute still pits anything. Uh, yeah, I'm good on that. Don't want that. I do not want that. Okay. So let's croak so now. Smack the face. Three damage. Take it. Skyclave Apparition. Okay. we take you interesting and then I think we just bring Luris into our hand this thing only non token Permanence. You don't control converted modules for less. Okay. Um, you know what? We will wait here. Legion Angel. Okay. Cool. So we're not going to attack in here. When he goes to Skyclave, we'll use this. Magmatic Chandler, what we will do, we will sacrifice it, draw some cards, I definitely don't mind him discarding a card for that, cool. Hmm, Seagate. 
unfortunately we don't really have anything spectacular to use with it. We can do crawling barons, but I don't think we can come back from that one. Okay. No worries there. It is what it is. Okay, let's hop into another one. Oster. Alright, so we got a four lander here. We have a Kroxa. We'll definitely keep this. I think we lead off with the Epiphany. Uzlith, uh oh. We might be in trouble here. So let's Temple. Maze Mine's nice. Opponent is Fabled Passaging. Green Black. Okay. So we will pull up our own black here. What's the move? I think we can wait on Kroxa for a turn or so. Um let's get out the Skyclave. Cultivate. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and play this. Let's I think we wait, still wait for the Kroxa. I wait till the next turn, smack him. Get our scry on at the end of our opponent's turn. Another cultivate. Scry in response. Agonizing remorse is nice. Now we can see what we're working with. He's ramping. He's ramping all right. With the Uzalit though, he's going to be putting counters, like a Golgari counters, moss pit skeleton. Nothing. No creature, no nothing? Hmm. Okay. Um, so, if I search for another mountain, can we? So let's agonizing remorse first. Let's take a look. So moss pit skeleton. It's pretty slick with the uh, the Uzalith. So we have no. If we croaks at him now, he'll just discard the land. We're just going to keep smacking him. Looking for one of our four copies of bottom that. We don't need that. That's it.
Gotta have creatures in play to, to actually do anything, though. Okay. And... Opponent has plenty of mana for... to beat out our mystical smack the face. Okay. Cool dogs. And Nissa. Okay. Interesting deck. Like, how do we gain life? So he didn't have that in his hand before, so he drew into the Nyssa, so we can't, it's not really we can, much we can do about that. All right, perfect. Okay. Um... We can bottom that? No? Lock twin. Let's bring in the Lurus. What you got? Nothing? Alright, cool. Gates. Let's play another Coxa. A lot of mana. It's a lot of mana. Three, four, seven. So we definitely croaks. Uh, and then we Blood Chief. GG. Got him. Uh, the opponent underestimated uh, the amount of bodies we had on the floor. But I'll take it. Beautiful, beautiful. Sw I don't get this. Is this like a like a banner or something? Or I don't, I don't know. All right, let's, let's keep it going. Big Bad John. Lurus versus Lurus. So we have a two lander. But we do have all of our colors. I think we're going to keep this. 
A little risky keep, but we'll, we'll keep it. I'm going to start off with the temple. We do want another land. We are definitely interested in that. Uh-oh. Gingerbread. Okay. Let's play you. Let's play out our Kroxa. Mono white. Could be boggles. Looks like it. Magmatic. Let's pass. I'm going to hold up the shock here. Um, I'm good on that. Does he have... Does he have it? Does he have the protection? black so we can bring back do this we'll do this okay so now he has to pay to bring Loris into his hand he does Hushbringer okay and we'll scry another Kroxa Oh, da, da, da. I think now is the turn we bring in Lurus. No sense in attacking. Curious to see if he attacks here. Could have another solid footing. Hmm. Okay. So we're looking for either a shock or we're looking for a blood chief's thirst. We have one blood chief's down, one shock down. It's Big Bad John's turn. So the scry here. Mm. So yeah, we don't really need that. Village rights. 
Interesting. Okay, I'm just play another maze mine, I guess. Smack him. Shit out of luck here. That Hushbringer, man. It's funny how, like, one specific card can shut down an entire dex. Okay. What is the move here? I think we sacrifice Magmatic Chandler. I know it seems crazy. We don't get any any reward for that, but, um... Stone Collar. Ugh. Problem is we're not drawing any of our early early on spells. Okay, shock is nice, perfect. So we have to shock Luris, unfortunately. And I think do blue here. Play our own Luris. Pass. Let's see if he has any type of enchantment removal. I'm sure he does. Can bring back main magnetic magmatic Chandler. Alright, now we might be in trouble. Okay. Cool. Could have issues with this though. And even though it won't do anything, we can still bring him back. So I'm not sure. So we're going to do this. Gain some life. Yep. Uh, sure. Don't know why he wouldn't put that on. <laughs> At this point, we're trying to get rid of these Hushbringers. That's that's what's holding us back. So let's scry. We don't need any more land at the moment. Thank you, though. Appreciate that. Okay. Well, what we can do is... Is this game haste? It's like Mono Um... So let's play Magmatic. Comes in as a 4 4. Let's play Crawling. Just hit the face. Regardless of if Hushbringer shuts down our actual uh, Kroxa discarding, um, it's still a 6-6. Six, six. And now I have a 4-4, four, four, a 3. So we're, 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 we're okay, I think. He's still attacking him with everything. Um, Mystical Dispute, I think, is not doing anything for us anymore. And now, he's got to deal with this. It's going to be another 4-4 four, four coming at you. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11 damage.
Okay, my man. Let's take a peek. Let's see what this last card is. Get that shit out of here. Just in case he draws into another all that glitters. You better stop attacking, dude. This thing is going to be a fucking monster next turn. 6-6. Six, six. Setting wise, I don't care. He keeps putting it on Ginger Brute. He needs to be pumping up his lifelink. You gonna stop attacking now? Nope. Alright. Now that we have enough mana, we'll just we'll just keep sinking, sinking this. And that should be enough. Yep. So this will be eight. We only have two blockers. That's it. That's all she wrote. It's lethal. I have to block with both. Okay. Cool. I mean, I don't know. Good luck with that. Let's see if he attacks. Yeah, man, he's just, uh... So, let's village rights. Actually, no, let's do this. This is what I meant to do. Mm -hmm. Big Bad John. Big Bad John. It's a big creature, huh? Yeah, 
Yep. Yep. Now. Now we can start going off. Fucking hush burgers. Come on, Big Bad John, you lost. Let's go. Big Bad John. There we go. What you got, Big Bad John? All that glitter is still not enough. Big Bad John. All right, my friends. I apologize for that lengthy last game. Big Bad John was a little, little, little sore. But uh, yeah, very happy with the deck. Um, I think there's definitely major poss. Uh, possibilities for this deck in a traditional best of three um, and in case anybody's wondering the reason I don't do best of three is because you can see we get in three to four games uh, per episode doing best of one which gives you a little bit better variety and more uh, more games to watch um, but best of three uh, definitely more time consuming so you could probably only get maybe one series or, or uh, you know, two if, if you're really flying through things, but just so you guys know. Uh, other than that, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and just remember, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free to you and helps us out so much. Feel free to drop me a comment, talk about strategy, deck ideas, misplays. I read the comments daily, and if you have any friends or family that are into magic, please share the channel with them. Also, don't forget, if you're going to be a new follower or subscriber on either my Twitch or YouTube channels, uh, just reach out to me in the comment or the chat. Once you have, uh, say something like, hey, I just subscribed or followed, and I can respond with an in-game code that you can use in the Arena Client to unlock a mystery gift from Wizards. Uh, so, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.